then I need to let that happen and let it move off to the side and be able to focus more on the community and out in the outside world and not so much just uh, focusing on myself. Um, so that's probably where I'm at right now in my transformative state is having a realization that I am stable enough to be able to handle whatever it is that happens to me and to test those waters so that I become con really conscious of that and get out of my fear state so that I can move forth and actually take into action what it is that I've learned. It's almost like being in a lucid dream for me. It's like a dream world in the sense that I'm following things. I'm following where the art is taking me, where the art wants to pull me. Grab a feather over there? Okay, we'll try it there, you know. Um, like being in the waves of an ocean, you know. It's like I need to let the waves take me back and forth and, and work with my art in that way. And yet, my eyes are open, you know. So I'm, I'm watching that process. I'm watching how I'm feeling back and forth. Um, I recently just had an artwork that was very ir irritating to me, you know, and yet it was okay, but, you know, I was irritated. And it's like, why am I irritated with this work? I had a dream where my breasts were really full of milk, and I found a baby, and I'm breastfeeding the baby, and it feels really good. And, and I know in my past, I've worked through an issue, so this is really good for me to be able to make as a, as a creation. So I'm... I want these, I need these babies. So I go out and I buy a doll and, and I make plaster casts of the doll's head. Well, in order to be able to do that, this particular doll has a little piece of hair on the top, you know. I make a cast, I don't think too much about it. I take the cat, but when it dries, you can really see this bump on the head. That's not right. So I need to get that hair off. So I, I, I try a razor blade, you know, nice way, nothing. Try the scissors, that's not going to work. So I end up on the floor of my kitchen with the baby's head in my hand on the floor with a butcher knife. And I'm going like this. And I'm going, and I pause. I'm going, hmm, okay, my ex-husband's out of town. Uh, I haven't talked to him for a while. My boyfriend I haven't seen. Am I having issues? Or is this just transformative art? It's just transformative art. So I keep, you know, slicing and eventually get all of my baby heads made. And, but you need to be conscious enough, you know, even though you're following this unconscious process, uh, to know what is actually happening. In many respects, I see transformative artists as being the Ouroboros. We know the value of biting ourselves in the ass a little bit, it, it, to have that change happen, um, to create that uncomfortability, to put ourselves, you know, in a, in a uh, fire walking situation per se because we know the value when we get to the other side. To me, transformative arts is about dealing with issues or problems and coming to the realization that the solution is directly laid next to the problem and that whatever the issue is that we have to get through whether it's a personal issue an internal block or a societal issue or an issue with a group or you know anything whatever it is it can be worked with creatively and somehow by engaging a creative process that it, to me it has to engage the unconscious mind to open up um, the potential for growth and change. And so transformative arts to me um, works best when it engages the unconscious mind and brings it into consciousness, but not in a controlled way. Like as a transformative arts educator, I have to hold the space that change is possible and that these things can happen. When I'm working with a group of people, I go in knowing that, but I don't control how they bring that in but I do make suggestions and I create opportunities for learning. And then a dialogue follows and every time I do it, something happens. Something magical happens. 
information starts coming through the group. People start engaging on different levels. We can ask different kinds of questions that we couldn't ask before. So transformative arts is um, it's like a breath of fresh air. For instance, what's happened here is that I find that I've been able to go into um, rehab facilities and take transformative arts exercises like group projects and um, doing artwork with people based around the resolution of issues. And because I'm not an art therapist, I can't work with people as a therapist. And I don't want to be a therapist, not in the traditional sense. I, um, I lose focus when I leave the transformative creative side of things and I go into the kind of uh, Western psychological approach, you know, the, um, the over-processing of, of grief or problems. Is, I get stuck there. Things stop flowing for me. So it's not talk therapy for me. It's about whatever's going on inside your brain, whatever you've got going on energetically in your body, bring it to creativity. Show up, bring it to creativity, and um, start engaging that process. You know, no matter what opinions happen to come up for you. You know, whatever your, your ego mind judges is going on, it doesn't matter. You just keep moving the brush, you just keep working with the pencil, you just keep dancing. You know, and, um, and stuff starts to happen. So as a transformative arts educator, what I'm learning is to open that moment, to hold it open, and to get people to start communicating in that moment. And the group, I find that the group will tell you what it needs. The group itself will reveal where, where each exercise is going. And if I listen really carefully, I can go with that. I can trust that. So it's really intuitive. Transformative arts is very intuitive for me. You know. And um, it has a way of, you know, my art knows before I do. Is pretty much how I see it. You know, no matter what I do, I may think I know what's going on, and to a certain degree, you know, I have an agenda. You know, I want, I want beauty, I want form, I want, you know, X, Y, and Z. But that has a way of shutting down the creative flow. And transformative art says, there is a flow. Flow with it and trust it. And amazing things will happen to you and those around you. Your relationships will change, your associations will change, your perceptions will change. This is the paradigm shift that Transformative Arts offers. Part of this is that I want to understand people better. You know, I don't want to be in my tower thinking my thoughts. I want to be engaged with other people. You know, I want to be engaged with the canvas. And I hope my canvas will engage other people. So, yeah. <laughs> what is transformative art? Um, for me, it's a porthole into my self-creation. So it's an understanding of myself, it's an understanding of the mysteries of life, for me. Um, and hopefully, for the viewer, it's a catalyst for them to catch a glimpse of that or to connect with something inside of them. I think at the core of transformational art, it's re revelation of the essence, of the essence of us as beings, but it's also, um, it's, and in that revelation there's empowerment for you, the artist, for you, the viewer. So it's almost like a nudge saying, this is within you and you have the power. So I think transformational art is really about um, igniting what's within oneself, their power. Um, me as an artist, it gives me my power, but me as the viewer, it's a recognition of your inner glowing or your inner light. When I'm creating, it's basically I'm getting out of the way. Um, it's a very automatic process. There's no thought or intellect in it. So when I'm creating, I feel that I'm connecting with something interior within my inner because it's coming from myself, but it's also an extension of something larger than myself. Um, so I'm connecting with the whole, I think, which is really powerful for me.
Well, that's cool. <laughs> I could get um, more physical. Sometimes I step on them. <laughs> so... Not really liking this one, but oh well, it's just the process, right? It's the process. <laughs> so it was so cool, like I was doing the Jeremy thing, like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mark mean? I feel, um, I feel when I'm creating, I'm like an alchemist. I'm putting all my stuff in it and trying to, like my shadowy stuff, the shadowy stuff of the world, and I'm trying to transform it um, into gold or into, you know, transform it into something that's whole. Um, and also when I create, I do feel like a sorceress, like I'm tapping into powers. Um, you know, it's just, it's a powerful moment when you're creating. You're not thinking, you are just being. I think, I think also, yeah, when I'm creating, I'm really just being. I'm being, there's no distractions outside of me. I'm just wholly just in action. It's almost like the manifestation of creativity is action. So it's really, it's really being. I'm being, um, it's almost like I am a conduit of something larger than myself. Some of my works are relics of my own spiritual transformation and experience, and other works are the actual, you know, you're in the spiritual moment, the viewer. So there's two things, like you want to merge with it versus it's a sacred relic of my experience. So there's two things that happen um, in my work. I think that transformative art doesn't need to be pontificated. It do doesn't need to be intellectualized. I think it's just really simple. And it's something that we've forgotten. Um, and it's something that we need to discover in each and every one of us. So. I think any art that is in service to the artist, um, artist's wholeness. It transforms the world. And if the artist is especially conscious of it. And to me, this is very transformative because I'm projecting, I'm projecting the image onto this, right? Then I'm tracing it, tracing the image. And by doing so, I'm becoming this. And this is not me, but it's me. <laughs> no? So, I'm connecting to the part which is not my ordinary, my daily life, myself. But it's suddenly myself um, that is bubbling, bubbling inside of me. So I'm in touch with that part of me by doing this, so that I can see who I am much clearer. And every, every work, every piece, I repeat this. You know, we discover myself little by little, and it's like an onion skin, one by one. There is no ending. But that process is transformative for me. And this process, art making process is to me, it's not just physical, well, it's not just, it's a holistic process. You know, I'm in my body, my mind, my emotion, my spiritual, spirituality, everything is involved in this process. And especially this is the time when I do this drawing and carving and printing, that's the time I'm connected to my body completely. So during that process, I become tr 
transparent, sort of transparent.